Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. So today, I'm going to give my first impressions on Power Director 15. So I use Premiere Pro and the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite at the moment, but uh, Cyberlink reached out to me and I thought I'd just give this a go because it is, I think, $120. I will put the updated prices in the description and on the screen here. Um, but compared to Final Cut Pro X or the Adobe Creative Cloud, this is, you know, pennies. It's just so expensive. Um, and Power Director is a lot cheaper. So we're gonna go in, and for this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and try to edit a gaming video, just real quick, and see if I can do all of that stuff easily with only no knowledge of Premiere Pro, just to see if it is similar to, you know, an industry standard editing software. I thought that's a good test. And then later, in a few weeks, I'll do a full review of the software, going into all the features, like 360 video editing and all that stuff. So 16 by nine, full feature editor. So this could take a while, but yeah, uh, if you have any ideas on what content you'd like to see on the software, then leave it in the comments below. Wow, we're already in. That's great. Um, so first, I'm going to clear this stuff. I have used Power Director 10 before. That's what I used before uh, Adobe Creative Cloud, but that was about three years ago. So just coming in, uh, starting off, I mean, it looks pretty similar to Premiere Pro. Uh, I'd, be on, I'd be lying if I said it did not look professional. I think uh, it looks really, really nice, but... Um, yeah, the only difference is there's no... In Premiere, you have a media chooser thing down here instead of up here. Um, but I think up here is a bit more convenient because you have a longer timeline. Um, so we're just going to grab a clip to put in here. We'll just grab that. Alright. So this is our media content. This is our preview window. And this is our timeline. So if we just drag this onto our timeline. Um, okay, that's fine. Just click OK. So I'm just going to cut this down so it's about three minutes. Because we don't want to end up with... We don't want to edit a 45-minute clip today. So Control t to trim. And Delete. Not Backspace. Delete to clear a clip. Alright. So to zoom in and out, you can do this. Or go down there. So if we just go to the very start of our video. Hey guys, so this is the first episode on the... Um, so if it looks low quality, you can turn the preview quality up. I'm going to keep it here just so we don't lag out, but... Yeah. Nexus channel, or the team Nexus channel leaves. I have two other channels. Links in the description. Okay, we're going to cut right there, because that's our intro. And we don't need the other stuff. So control T, again, to, to split. And we're going to go to where I start actually playing. Control T again, kind of the start of the gameplay here, and delete. So this is where it gets interesting. You have a option. So I want to, I'm going to cut this, and then I'm just going to drag this clip over to here. But I can skip a skip there, a step there by just doing remove and fill gap, and it'll just automatically do that for me. And so there, now I have a nice cut. Um, so I will go to about here when the countdown starts, I think. Yep, yeah, so about there. And I'm going to go Control c again. And I'm going to select this clip. So I want to add a title here. So we have our introduction where I say, hey guys, this is me. And then we have gameplay here. And then we have a little bit in between where I am talking. So we're going to keep the audio there. But I do want to just add a title. So we're going to go to T right here. And you can have a look at all of these yourself. I'm not a huge fan of these. You can get more off director zone. So try that out. We're going to use Radar. Radar looks kind of cool. It has a little bit of animation to it. So just drag it onto the timeline. Cut it down. And there we go. So we have our title. Do it. This is my car. With the so I am noticing a bit of lag. Um, my computer is pretty fast. Like, I mean, I have an i7 4790K, 8 gigs of RAM. 8 gigs of RAM is not ideal for editing, but I can run After Effects on this thing. So if Premiere, if, if, Sorry, Premiere, if uh, Power Director is having trouble, that's um, not a great sign. But All right, so we're going to have to say Team in Excess, uh, Rocket League. Okay, that looks good. Um, we're going to add a shadow. Can you do that? So I think you have to... Nice. Okay, that's very extreme. Can we... Perfect. We can turn the opacity down. Good job. All right, uh, and then click OK. So we should have. 
it's hard to see with that background. So we're gonna go to um, FX. We're gonna add a like a blur, soft focus, and blurs up there. We're gonna do soft focus. I think that's better. Just drag it on there, and that looks awesome. That looks perfect. Okay. So that's what I use for a lot of my videos myself. So, so it's just playing the clip. And then it cuts, so you can see it won't do that very smoothly, but it's okay. And then it cuts back to our gameplay. I really like that. Okay, so, so far, that's simple. You could do that very quickly. Um, okay, what else can we do here? Alright, so say I wanted to add a transition halfway through the clip. So, I'm playing. Alright, so I said that. I'm gonna cut there, and I want to cut a little bit, uh, a little bit later. All right, we're gonna cut there. So, delete and fill gap, and we're gonna add a transition. So I'm gonna save actually very quick before I do anything else. Control S. There we go. So that took a long time. So I'm not sure if that's my computer or power editor. I did restart my computer because I was having problems before. So I believe it is power editor, which is not good, but I have seen it run on lower power computers, so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt here and say it's not a huge problem, but so far I'm having trouble with it. So we're going to save this project. I did control S as uh, RL test for Rocket League test. And there we go. And we'll just save. And now up here it says RL test. So we're just going to let that go. And that might help us out a little bit with the lag. So maybe not. We'll see. So, we have this cut here, so it doesn't look bad, eh, it's kind of smooth, you know, whatever. Usually in gaming videos, you, you, you use just cuts, and that's fine. But a lot of the time, you'll find that if you're cutting, like, a huge amount of space, like, uh, there's a lot of time goes by, you want to use a transition. So, uh, you have heaps of options here. That's pretty cool. That's good for a travel video. Broken glass, burning, so you have lots of options. Um, I'm going to use glows, quite nice. Yeah, glow would look good. Let's use glow. So we're going to zoom in on a clip. So we can do that with the voice. So I'm going to do it like that. I really like that, actually. So it's a cut, but it makes it a little bit smoother. There we go. Sweet. That looks really good. Um, now we're going to add an outro. So to do that... So we have our intro, our transitions, and we're going to add an outro. So I'm going to go back to my project window. We're looking for column by outro. There it is. Just let that import. Okay. So we're going to drag this onto our timeline. Okay. And so right now, not there. we just have that cut. So we're going to add a song as well. Okay, we'll use this. So we'll drag that onto our timeline. Put it in the first audio layer. We need to find the drop. Control T to cut it. Delete. Remove and leave gap. Yeah, that sounds good. So we're going to add that to our outro. Okay, that looks good. So now I have our outro on time. So we want to fade this audio out, so, or in, sorry. So I'm going to add, just simple like that. You just add little keyframes like that. So. So that's much smoother. All right, that's good. Um, and then I want to fade this clip out. So I believe you can do that by, actually, let's add a transition. Transition out. Uh, so it's text. Where's transitions? There. Blur to black. Can we do that? Blur. Yes, we can. So just. Where's that? Actually, I want to fade out. I think that'll look cleaner. Or how about we do evaporate ripple? That looks cool. And then we want to fade out this. So Control T, delete, 
and we will slowly fade it out by doing that. All right, and right there, I mean, obviously this is not a fully featured gaming video, but you know, you add, you using what you, I've showed you here, you could make a full gaming video in high resolution and all that. So guys, I'll show you render settings and all that in the full video, uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave you with a slightly cut down version of what I created in the Premiere, uh, or sorry, in PowerDirector in that tutorial. Hey guys, so this is the first episode on the Nexus channel, or the Team Nexus channel at least. I have two other channels, links in the description. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, do it. This is my car with the green. Mm -hmm. I should change it because I like the blue better for it. Okay, there we go. I <laughs> just, oh, sorry. That was the tutorial, or first impressions. I think, so far, I think, I mean, it's very similar to Premiere Pro in the layout. Um, if the speed wasn't an issue, I think this would be amazing software, and I think, I don't think it is. So I, I think, if you're worried about that, get the trial first, and then if you like it, buy it, because I really recommend it so far. Of course, I'm gonna have to look at the full features to see how it all g goes and works, but from what I've seen, I really like it. Uh, but you yeah, guys, I hope that answers a few of your questions, and uh, yeah, stay tuned in the near future for a full review and feature overview of the software. Uh, thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week.